Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. In this video, I want to talk to you about page breaks and section breaks. So, um, you know, if you're on your home page, the way you get to that, you would have to go to your layouts and you have them right here. You have page, column, text wrapping, under your page breaks, under your section breaks, you have next page, continuous, even page, and odd page. And I'm going to explain what each one of them does. Okay, so let's say that you had some uh, some text, right? Um, and let's do it this way. Okay, so let's say this was your uh, your f uh, cover page and then the rest of it was just text and you could have some headings or you know just pictures and things of that nature right now if you notice everything has a one quarter inch margin area okay so you can see from here to here's one quarter from here to here's a quarter and then of course i have some headers and i got some footers that way you can see like that's page two of uh, five, three of five, four of five, and so on. Okay, so let me start with the first one. Um, if you wanted to get this area and you wanted to move it down here, if you don't know where to get, you would probably do this. You would probably hit return, 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 return until you saw that on the next page now that's okay if you're not gonna ever do anything else to this page but if you did want to do something to that page then uh, every time you fix this page and the following pages then you're gonna mess them up so let me show you what I'm talking about uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color this so you can see uh, so you can see how it's, it's affecting it right and I'm just gonna copy some text here and I will go in and uh, and color that text for you so let's say that here I decided to add some more text like right after you know like a few a few paragraphs after I would put some more text look what happens you see what happened down here it moved all this text plus all it moved it over to the next page right now you have to go back and fix every single page now we're gonna hit control Z we're gonna hit control Z and control Z now we're back to uh, the the original okay this time we're gonna do something different and by the way let me show you something let me go back and um, um, and show you something look if you go to your home page you click here and you show and hide paragraph marks and other heading formatting right if you click here you can see you can see where all your returns are okay so of course you could go in here and say okay well uh, you can f fix it but the easiest way to do this is doing this right here look so so instead of hitting all those returns like we did I'm gonna do what we what is called a page break okay so if I click here I'll go into my layout go to breaks do a page break watch what happens it brought everything in here now if I type before this page break see if, if I type before that let, let me um, let me enlarge this for you okay so I can go in here and type some let's say I put some text in here let me change this for you uh, home bread and then we'll go in here on the next page 
and we'll turn that red for you. So if I went in here and added some text, nothing happened here or the following pages because we added a section break. That's what a section break does. Now, one thing to keep in mind, that is called a page break and not a section break, right? So, if I went to this page, let's say that um, page one was okay, page two, um, I was okay with uh, one quarter inch margins, but everything after page three, I wanted one inch margin areas. So if I go in here and I click on layout, I go to margins, I add it, uh, go to custom margins, and I'm going to add one inch to the left and one inch to the right. Look what happens. It changed everything. It changed the pages before, and it changed uh, even the front page. You see how it threw it out of whack? Because we added a whole one inch margin. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit Control Z. This time we're going to do a different kind of break. Okay, we're going to delete this break, and by by me going in to um, um, if I go into that area, I'm going to delete that page break. Okay, I'm going to. Select it right in front. I'm going to just hit the delete key. This time, I'm going to go in here in my layout. I'm going to go to my breaks. And then, I'm going to do a next page break. So, when I click here, now, now, um, here, let me view. Uh, okay, so you, now, now remember we added this section break anything past this break whatever changes I make to this layout on this side is going to affect it uh, all the way through the end of the document so this time I'm going to click here or I can click anywhere in the body text right anywhere inside this page I'm going to go to margins I'm going to hit custom margins and I'm going to add one inch to the left, one inch to the right, hit OK. Look, it affected it, all the pages after this. We have one inch here, one inch here. Remember here, it kept the one quarter inch and the one quarter inch because I told it after this section break, I want you to change it to one. And now everything's one, right? So. Let's say that I wanted to only affect that one page and then everything after this page here, I wanted it to go back to the uh, one quarter inch margins. I could click at the end of the paragraph. I'm going to go, I can go to layout, break, and do another. Uh, next page right now since I got a next page break here I can select anywhere go to my margins go to custom margin change that to 0 0.25 0 0.25 hit OK now what you have is you got this has a one quarter then it went this is the next page remember that's page two this is page three and now this one has a half inch then it goes back to uh, one quarter inch because we have those section breaks so that's what those section breaks does okay now uh, I'm gonna hit I'm gonna undo everything because we're gonna talk about different kinds of breaks now um, and do we have yeah, still got some more here Okay, now, the next thing we want to talk to you about is continuous breaks. 
So remember, we talked about a next page, and then now it's going to be continuous. So what that means is if I click here, I'm going to click right before this red text, right? I'm going to put an extra return here, and then I'll put another return here so you can see the, what, what's going to happen. All I want to do is make only this section with one inch margin. Remember, if I do that, anywhere in this page is going to turn everything beyond a page break. It's going to change the settings, right? But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to click here. I'm going to go to break. I'm going to hit continuous. So anything past this is going to change, right? And look what else I'm going to do so that I don't have to do this twice. I'm going to click here and I'm going to do I'm going to I'm going to add the same thing. I'm going to go to page and hit continuous. Now, you don't you didn't see nothing, but it's actually right in here. You can see the uh, the page break, okay? So, uh, let me enlarge this area for you. So remember, we went in and uh, we added a continuous break here and then another continuous break here. So anything in between this, I can, I, I don't have to select it. I, I don't have to select the whole sentence. All I got is click anywhere inside, go to margins. I'm going to uh, do a custom margin. I'm going to tell it one inch and one inch and hit OK. You see, now air, everything after this continuous, I made it a one inch. And then everything after this continuous, I did the one quarter inch. So that's how that continuous works. Now, Let's go and I'm just removing that because it's a lot easier doing it this way than having those breaks because you got to really be careful when you're using breaks. Okay, now the last, uh, no, we got a few more things to talk about. So we've already talked about this, talked about this, um, we talked about next page, we talked about continuous, now we're going to talk about even page okay so when you have um, you know let's say that <clears throat> you were gonna put a three hole punch on the left hand side of your page and you were gonna print this double sided you could have a problem so let me let me explain okay so first of all I need a margin right in here so so that when I staple this it's not gonna staple uh, not I do a three hole punch it's not gonna punch it into my text so if I go into my uh, margins I go to custom margins and you see right here where it says gutter I'm going to add a one inch gutter and look what it says gutter position left I only have two options I got left and top so we're going to pick left and I hit OK now so if you were going to print print one sided paper that would be OK because everything you know you can punch here and have you know minimal margins on the right but you have plenty of margin and I ex exaggerated this so you could see the difference you wouldn't use that much this is just a, a vi so you can visual visualize what I'm doing okay so if you were going to print front and back then you would have a problem because if you punch this this would be the back of it so you would be punching right in here so what you would do is you would go into your margins then you would go into your custom margins and um, you would you see where it says multiple pages you would want to select mirror margins 
Now look what happens. Remember, you told it the left page one inch margins, right? But you told it to mirror. So page one, you can't see it, but page one has a margin. And the reason you can't see it is because the, this is my front page. Page two has the margins on the right. Page three, because it's an odd number, you know, uh, is on, uh, that's page three. Page three is on the left, because it's an odd number. Page four is on the right-hand side. Well, you would have a problem with that because, let's say you printed this on page one, and you, you didn't print nothing on this page this page here, the margin really needs to be on this side, okay, for it to work. So look, this is page one and page two. Now we're going to see page three and four. See, that uh, that wouldn't work because page three would actually be in the back of page two because page one is by itself. So the way to rectify that is that you see page two, you could go click right here and you could tell this one to become an odd page. So you would go to break and you click on odd page. Now, right now the margin is small right here, right? If you click odd page, now you have a big margin. So remember, you would print this by itself. Now page uh, one, excuse me, page two and three, you would paste together, print together, and you would have a large margin on the left and a large margin on the right. So that's how you rectify that problem, you know. So that's what that does. The last thing we're gonna talk about is um, I, I can't remember if I talked about columns, but I, because uh, I've, I've taught this so many times, so I'm going to talk about columns, okay, just to make sure. I, if you heard it, at least you're going to hear it again. So I'm going to select this text. I'm going to go to breaks. I'm going to go to columns. Oh, excuse me. Control Z. I want to go in here and go to uh, home, layout, columns and I'm going to put three three columns uh, and let's say from this page from this uh, paragraph I want it down here I think I did talk about this but just I'm just gonna do it again remember I can hit return 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 or I can click there go to breaks and hit column okay and it throws it over to the next page so let's say that I want it uh, this sentence over down here. I can click here and I can go to uh, break and hit columns. So if I add text, look, I can hit returns. I can add text and nothing happens to the rest of it because we have column breaks. Actually, uh, yeah, column breaks. Okay, guys, so that's uh, that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. And uh, I think I have about 170 videos that teach uh, a few other programs. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you on the next one.